Hi everyone, welcome to Maker Shop Store. Today we want to introduce this Total Face I2C and SPI host adapter. This adapter can be used on the I2C Master or the SPM Master to read the our embedded systems I2C slave and SPA slave. So we would like to introduce how we could use the Total Face control center total face control, control center serial to access our uh, development boards EPROM so this is our current setup we, we have one SQLC SPI adapter with our uh, development board so we, we want to using SQLC to access this I2C e prone and SPA e prone. Hi, today we want to introduce this control center serial. This control center serial is used to control the total phase I2C and SPA adapters. So we will uh, introduce the basic feature of this control center serial software. So first, we need to connect it to our I2C and SPI adapter. So by pressing connect button here, so we can connect it to our device. So this device have several features. One is I2C, one is I2C master, and the other one is SPI master. And they have other features like GPIO. You can using this adapter to write a GPL high signal, or GPIO low signal, or even you can read the IO high low signal. Okay, so first we need to uh, uh, press the connect. After connect, you can see this I2C interface. First, you can need to set your device I2C address. So this ad address here is the seven bit address. So you need to know your I2C slave device I2C address here. So our device is 50, 50. So we uh, we set the 50 here, and uh, the message here is our I2C write message. So the first byte is your I2C offset. So you can see this. We want to write our offset 0, 01 with 0, 01 byte uh, into the our SQLC device so so you can simply using this to provide the SQLC write to to our SQLC device on the offset 0, 01 with 0, 01 data so you can by pressing right, so you can see here the data is successful to transfer to the off address 50 with offset 01 and the data 01. So we can easily read back the our writing I2C data to our offset. So we can write the 01 here. So First, how to use the right feed to using the I2C read feature on this software. First, you need to write to press the master write, and then you pr press the master read. So you can see here with this uh, interface show here, we try to read the offset zero one, and and we read back the data. 01. So this 01 data is what we write to this I2C slave. So we can do another experiment. We we'll try to read 03 at the offset 01. So we we'll by pressing right and we can read back again this 01 to see whether the data is successfully to be written on the I2C slave. So this is the I2C feature on our 
as you can see host adapter from the total phase. Thank you. Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we want to introduce the this SQL CSPI GPL adapter designed by Total Face. So this uh, SQL C and SPI adapter have an extra feature called the GPL control. So you can change in the GPL control mode in this software here. So here we have they have. Uh, six pins can be using as a GPL input input here or GPL output. Today we can using uh, this I/O pin to read back to get whether it's a high signal or it's a low signal. So when you get all these six pins, when you get the value is high, it means the GPL is a high signal. It means it will be like 3.3 volt or 5 volt. Okay, so uh, this is all the input signal. Today, if I want to uh, output a high signal on the on this uh, IO pins, GPL pin 4, we want to control LED to turn on LED, we can simply uh, set a uh, one value to say to one so this pin will be set to high so you can you easily using this interface to read if it's an input signal you can use it to read the high low signal if the value get high one it means this IO pin get a high signal on this pin status and if it's zero it means it's low signal or you can using a GPL output pins you can set as one and it will uh, it will control it will output the high signal and if it's set to zero it will set a low signal so you can easily control the using this adapter to control the high-low signal or re read back the high-low signal of your, of your device. Thank you for your listening.